Hey, Will Bailey. The wind's blowing. It's kind of cold today, and you don't have any sleeves on. I know. What'd you say you were? Will Bailey. Will Bailey. Well, Billy. Well, Billy. Well, Billy. If you say so. Good morning, guys. It's Nick with Chestnut Hills Farmstead. We've got a beautiful day today. It's low 60s. The only problem is the wind is blowing about 25 miles per hour. I've got a mic on, so I'm hoping that's going to help. But I just gonna have to apologize for any noise that's in the background, but we can't wait to show you what we've uncovered at the farm today. Now, some of you that's been with us for a while may recognize where I am. But if I move over and let you see that that tree laying there, this is the area where the bees used to be. And we talked about the reason that we were moving the bees is we had a project to do over here. Well, that's what we're going to get started on today. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit and let you kind of follow along and let's show you what's behind all this mess. I've been in the darkness for 40 days. Searching for holy flames, a sign to light up the way. So, can you help me out? Can you help me out? I've been more certain of truth before. to Jesus before So can you help me out I'd say we made a pretty good den in that in a couple of hours. 
we got back and got started we had started working on the tree and I needed to go get a new chain for Zoe's chainsaw and I went ahead and just got a bigger one and brought it back out here with me so we could get that cut because that's long leaf pine and it's been down a few years if you know anything about that that sap was settled in there and it gets pretty hard so Zoe's wasn't doing the job so we needed something a little bit bigger but then we got in here after Chance went to baseball practice started clearing this out and if you've caught glimpses of that white let me show you what that is there's what we've been telling you about that was the project hiding behind the bees it's an old well on this property it does have water in it the last time I checked it it was probably eight or nine feet deep in there and I put this PVC in that PVC has been in there about 10 years that's how long it's been since anybody was back here it's grown up that's why we're having to clear it out I put that PVC in hoping to hook a pump to it and be able to irrigate my first gardens out here like I said that's been a long time ago we're gonna pull that PVC out of there because we're going to have this well tested see what we need to do and we're going to get a pump set up and actually dig lines up to our protege and the animal paddocks or let me rephrase that that's what i hope we're going to do that's what we're hoping for we hope to get all this cleared out and be able to run lines up not only water our animals in the new fencing you've seen us build but we're going to run all the way up that road we've been using this parallel to our drive here and put out the frost free hydrants have those spigots out on each paddock and be able to have better water access for our animals instead of us having to drag that water trailer all over the farm also we want to hook it up to where we can water our garden and our orchard area and it's really not going to take that much as long as we get this cleared out. If it's a good source of water and we get a pump in there, we're going to be in good shape. You can see a couple of trees in here. They're in really close proximity to that well. So I don't want to try to uproot those with the tractor. I'm going to get those cut out real quick and I'll be right back. All right. We got all that cleared away. Like I don't have enough problem audio with the wind noise now that go in this well. We're gonna try to pull all this PVC. I just told them that this PVC probably been in here 10 years. Well, part of our PVC is still in there. We'll figure out a way to fish that out eventually. But right now, I'm gonna drop a shackle in there on some string and see how deep it is. Just for my own knowledge. And then we'll have to have the water tested and see how that comes out. We're at the water. That's at the top of the water, right there. I'm dangling it in and out of the water. It's only a couple of feet deep. I don't know that it's viable. It's like 20, 25 feet down to the water, but I don't think it's more than a couple of feet deep. What we're going to have to do is get a trash pump and pump it out because with this thing being open that long, it could just be leaves. But I know there's springs here. So we don't know if the well's any good or not, but I don't know that it's viable. There's where the string's wet. So there. But 
This thing may just be, may be full of leaves and sticks. We don't know. All we can do is test it and see. It's a really old well, so I don't know how good it is. Well, you saw what we saw. We'll have to wait until we find out something more about the well. We'll update you whenever that time comes. Mac's gone to feed the animals. And while we've got the opportunity, I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish cutting up this tree, get it out of the way. It may get interesting when we get it shorter, that root ball may fall back into place, I don't know. <laughs> If you didn't accomplish anything else today, I made a mess. Well, that tree is no longer in our way. That tree is not in our way. It looks so much better now. The only problem is I was really excited about that whale, and I don't know what to do about that just yet. Well, we've got it cleared out, so now we can start working on it. The problem is not being able to access it. You know what? That was a multi, a multi-purpose day. You got all that cleaned out. Now we can access that.
This tree has really needed to be cleaned up from a couple of years ago. Yeah. And now we can also start working on the fence across the front. Well, now I need to clean all this back and make me a big old brush pile. I think that the boys would love that. You know, if you would let me have Daniel's toys, I mean tools, this would be totally fine. Yeah, you can always rent one. But it looks good. You did a great job that's while not, I was gone. That's not bad for a little 38 horse tractor, is it? No. Nah. Now keep going. You got 20 more acres. 20? At least. Well, let's go check in on Max. She's feeding the animals. Let's go see what she's got going on before we close out for the day.
it is not near as cold as Zoe makes it look like it is. We're still probably in the high 50s, but that wind is pretty tough. Yes. Zoe's going to look like an Eskimo, and it's not that cold. My hair is blowing everywhere. Well, it's under that hood now. That's why. <laughs> well, guys, that's all we've got for today. I hope to get you an update on the whale pretty soon. We've got an inspector coming to look at it on Monday. So I guess we'll let you know next time. Thanks for being with us on Chestnut Hills Farmstead. Please go like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.